What's up guys, JNO here, and today we're back with the PSV Patrol. We're going to go into a game against MVV in the Dutch Cup, but after that there's going to be a poll for you guys to decide what I'm going to do on Football Manager 2017, so make sure to stay to the end of the video to have your say on what series we'll do when Football Manager 2017 comes out. All here on JNO United. Okay guys, so it's a big episode of the PSV Patrol. If we want to continue our success as a domestic team, we want to win the Dutch Cup for the second year in a row. We're coming up against MVV in the Dutch Cup quarter-final. If we win this, two games away from putting our names in the record books. But before we get into the game, make sure if you're happy to see PSV Patrol on the channel, like the video, make sure to subscribe if you're new. We've had a massive jump up in subscribers recently thanks to Ali A. Thanks to Ali A, I wish Ali A gave me a shout out. Thanks to Ali FC who gave me a shout out on his shout out Sunday series. So make sure to check his channel. There will be a link in the description below and a card. Cool guy that gave me a shout out and gave me a boost on this channel. And I'm always going to appreciate anyone that helps me out. Let's get into the game and see if we can go on in the Dutch Cup. But as usual, before we do that, we're going to have a quick look at how we've done since you last saw us. We've only played two games. One was against NAC Breda, which we won 1-0, and the other game was against MVV in the Eredivisie, and we won 4-2. So we've only played two games, but we've won both. Hopefully that 4-2 win is an omen of things to come, and we can pick up the victory here. And then after that, we're going to go to the away game at Bayern Munich in the Euro Cup first round knockout. Hopefully we pick up a good result at home, but that's a massive game for us as we're going to Germany against one of probably the best teams in the world. Can PSV cause an upset? The lineup we are going with is Radkovic in goal, with Jeffro Williams and Arias as the wing backs, Islamat Mirin and Bruma as the centre backs, with Aya just in front of them, Pau and Proper as the two man midfield, Narsing and Guardado as the wingers, with Lucardia up top, and we have a stacked bench with Correa, Pato, Kloff. Hendricks, Lekeu, Lucas and Pazvir and hopefully we can pick up a victory, a dominating victory, send a message to the team still left in the Dutch Cup. Okay, it's kickoff, and it feels like I haven't done this series in a while. I feel like I'm a bit out of touch with the team so hopefully that doesn't affect how we play in this game. I am still not got my Yeti back so we are still using the Sennheiser microphone uh, which is why my uploads have slowed down a bit. I've not gone for daily. I've gone for more like every other day at the moment. So I apologize for that. But sometimes when I get busy or I don't have the equipment that I usually have, there will every now and again be a slowdown in episodes. But you can always guarantee I get three or four videos up a week. And this game has been extremely quiet, which isn't what we wanted. We, want to, we like it when we have a quick start to the game and pick up an early goal. Guardado now has it out wide. His cross is blocked, but Willems picks up to Aya. Aya now to Pau. Pau into Guardado. And Guardado finishes, and it's 1 0 already. I say already, I was just complaining about not scoring quick enough. But we are now 1 0 up against MVV. A team of our quality shouldn't let a 1 0 lead slip. We should be building on this. But great play by Pau into Guardado. Nice bit of play. I've gone for two more attacking centre mids. I've been playing Hendricks and Ayer, but both of them are most suited to a defensive midfield role. So I might rotate Ayer and Hendricks and start playing some of my other centre mids because we need goals. Goals win games. And I play a very similar formation to the England team in real life. And yeah, goals win games, England. Here's Labat Mirin with a long ball. Now Bruma to Narsing loses the ball, but is Labat Mirin picks it up again. I feel like Islamat Mirin's having a good game. Okay, now I is on the ball. Now we can build proper to Powell. Powell to Guardado. Guardado looks for Narsing. Narsing through to Lacardia, who hits the post. I'm going with Lacardia because he suits the complete forward role a bit more than Zach Clough, Correa, and Pato. Hoping he could get the goals. 
but he hits the post with that shot. Zach Cloth had a great game for us in that 4-2 win. I believe he got a hat-trick, so I think we're going to give Cloth a run out, but he's more suited to playing as a false nine, so we'll change it to a false nine support, because that's all you can do with a centre forward. Sorry, a false nine. Um, should we go nasting off the defence? Haven't got great ratings, but I don't feel like we've been challenged much. Only two shots, one on target, so I don't feel like they have to be playing that well. So we could get Narsing off and bring on Pato or Coria. We'll go with Pato because he's actually one of us. One of us. And then we'll swap Pato with Guardado. And there we go. Hopefully these two substitutions can get us another goal because 1-0 victory over MVV doesn't sit well with me insert poet didn't even know it joke right there all right 10 shots and only two on target i'm starting to think maybe getting rid of luke de jong was a bad idea because we are very wasteful in front of goal arias won the ball there proper now nice and calm played crosses it into pato who gets there at the back post puts it away and our substitution works in seven minutes great substitution there Hopefully Pato can use that as a confidence builder and start scoring some more goals. Because if we're going to beat Bayern, we need to at least score one. Right, Pato gets it at the back post, volleys it in near post. Proper to Pato. My attacking formation, or the attacking players I've picked, seems to have worked. Okay, we'll tell the boys to concentrate now. I don't want to let slip a goal and make this game more close than it needs to be. 14 shots, 4 on target doesn't seem good enough to me. 15 minutes left, we'll bring someone else on. Cloth isn't having the best of games, but it's slightly better than the cardio at the moment. Anyone knackered? Kenneth Powell looks like he could use a rest. We'll bring on Hendricks, who's a more defensive-minded midfielder. And then, if we can quickly remember, I prefer Ayer as the more attacking if I've got both of them playing, because I think Ayer has better finishing. So if he does get into that box, he's more likely to put the chance away. We've got five minutes left. It's a dominant performance, but I'm going to be very demanding of the guys. I think they should have done better. I'm not going to give a rough team talk because a 2-0 win is still a 2-0 win. But I would like my team to be more clinical in front of goal. There we go. It is full time. We've picked up the 2-0 victory against MVV, which most importantly means we carry on in this tournament. And we're going to the semi-final. I'm not sure who we're playing yet. Guardado was our man of the match, or player of the match. Two key passes, an 8.2 rating overall. And he scored one goal. But that is disappointing. 18 shots, six on target. Six on target is better at the end of the game, to be fair. Possession we dominated. And Luke de Jong is still top scorer in this tournament. Pato, you need to get another couple of goals. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. The next episode will see us in a massive game against Bayern Munich. I might do face cam for that. Leave in the comments down below if you want me to do face cam. Although, to be honest, I may have recorded it already by that point. But do leave in the comments down below if you want more face cam. And now let's quickly, before we go, get into the question that I need to ask you guys. When Football Manager 2017 comes out, what do you guys want me to do as a career mode save? I am currently tossing and turning about a couple of clubs which I'm going to let you all vote on right now. There's going to be a card where you can vote which team you think I should do a save with in 2017 Football Manager. And the teams are Borussia Dortmund, AS Roma from the Italian League. I believe it's Marseille I want to go with in the French League. Although I'm trying to remember if that's correct. Atletico Madrid in the Spanish League. Or do you want me to do something in the English League? Now, I'm not giving an exact choice, but if you would like me to do something in the English League, it's either going to be an AFC Wimbledon save, because they're a team close to my heart, or it will be a save with a Premiership team, most likely Leicester or West Ham. But if you want a specific team, make sure to leave in the comments down below which team you want me to manage. And if enough people agree with your comment, they can hit that thumbs up button on your comment, and then that team will also come into contention for the Football Manager 2017 save. Make sure to have your vote if you like my Football Manager series, because if you don't vote, 
then your team may not win and next year I may be using a team you don't necessarily want to see. So make sure to have your vote, have your say in the comments and just have a great day or evening after you watch this video. I've been JNO, you've been awesome and remember, it's all about the game. We can stay up until it's alive.